In an effort to make a perfect resume that aligns exactly with the current job market, I gathered a hundred different entry-level remote IT jobs from Indeed, put them all on a spreadsheet, asked the paid version of ChatGPT to analyze them, and come up with the best possible resume that matches all of the jobs, at least the best that I can. I thought this would be kind of a fun experiment to do, so if you want to follow along, I'll put the prompt as well as the list of jobs in the description so you can follow along and see if you get any kind of different results. I'll run mine live, I'll do like the a live resume critique of it so you know I'm not cheating, and then I'll, I'll kind of clean up the resulting resume and then put that in the description also. Before getting into the content, just a reminder, I have a whole bunch of free practice exam questions on my company website. We have CompTIA A+, Network+, Security+. We're going to have ITIL soon if we don't already, and we have CISSP also. Uh, each deck with either around a thousand or over a thousand practice questions. Absolutely free with ex with explanations to the correct answers and reference to page numbers in the corresponding book. Definitely check those out. I also teach an entry-level hands-on IT course. It's designed to get you a job in IT as fast as possible. A bunch of people have gone through it already and gotten jobs, a bunch of interviews on my channel. So definitely check that out if you're looking to change your career. So getting right into things, this is the actual uh, list of jobs that we're going to be analyzing with ChatGPT. And this right here is the prompt. Um, I'm gonna do a quick overview of it. It's just basically the instructions we're giving ChatGPT to have it build our quote-unquote perfect resume. So basically, I just tell it, uh, please examine the 100 job descriptions and come up with the most employable resume based on the contents found in the descriptions. Try not to exceed one page, and one page is kind of left up to ChatGPT to interpret like what that means. Obviously, it's not realistic uh, to be you know perfect for every job, but just come up with the most employable resume that you can. See instructions about the different sections. So these are like the the some of the sections I want to include in the resume. So give me an example contact section, give me an education section based on the job descriptions that reference like what kind of education you should have. So give me an education section, no more than two entries, no need to include university names because like we don't care about that. Certifi certifications, choose two to three certifications based on frequency that you see in the job description list. So I encourage you to kind of look through those job descriptions to just see what's in there if you want. Um, consider common sense as well. Do not choose non-entry level search such as CISSP, SISM, because an entry level person can't get those because there's like a yearly exp a year like requirement. And then I just gave some examples of certifications that it might see, so it, it quote unquote knows. Like ChatGPT knows what IT certifications are, but I just gave it like an example, right? Um, for the experience section, I just told it like assume the resume belongs to an IT content creator come up with a project or two that they created content about. So it will recommend you projects to do based on what it's seen in those like 100 job descriptions, if that makes sense. And then technologies, based on the frequency of different technologies, you know, fill out this technology section. Uh, re when creating the resume, create it in its own code block, have these sections. So basically what we're going to do with this, um, this is chat GPT, 4, B, chat, chat GPT 4, by the way. So I'm just gonna copy this, paste this into ChatGPT. This is a prompt. And then I downloaded those uh, jobs, like the job description and title spreadsheet. So I'll just dump it into here. And all we have to do is run this and I'll go ahead and run it, and but I'll speed up so it's like, you know, not too slow. It takes a while to analyze, but I'll just like, you know, open this up so we can see it. It's letting us know its analysis strategy, identify the most frequently mentioned certifications, extract the most commonly mentioned tech, determine skills and types of projects or experience that are frequently sought after. So it's analyzing the contents. So it's gonna um, explain its decisions and then it's gonna make the resume afterwards, I'm assuming. So like certifications, CompTIA A+, CompTIA Security+, Plus were most frequent, along with ITIL, which probably is accurate. Um, we'll kind of take a, a gander a little bit at the um, actual jobs afterwards to see if we can match these. Technologies, Cloud, Ticketing Systems, Active Directory, AWS was mentioned, uh, specific, was mentioned, what? AWS was the most mentioned specific cloud service provider, education, projects and experience. And then here is the uh, resulting resume that it created. So this looks good. 
education. Um, okay, I'm going to start my, my critique on this now. So education, um, I, I imagine we can look at the job descriptions, um, but it, it probably says, obviously, you don't need like a bachelor's in computer science to work in entry-level IT, but it probably says in the job descriptions like uh, computer science or related field or something like this. So it just picked up on computer science and associates in IT. Fair enough. This certification section, uh, this I feel like this couldn't be more accurate. This is probably like the best um, certs that you can probably get for like an entry level IT person. Um, projects, Active Directory, Essentials. You can kind of read through this. Cloud for Beginning is an online course targeting beginners covering cloud concepts. Fair enough. That would be good for projects. IT content creator, self employed. If you don't have any IT experience at, at all, putting something like this and then actually having a decent amount of content on the internet is way better than having nothing at all, right? So developed and published comprehensive guide on blah, blah, blah. Fair enough. Created and hosted webinars to on the use of ticketing systems for effective IT support. Fair enough for this. Um, well, I'll, I'll kind of continue reading this and then I'll recommend stuff that um, would make this resume better, if that makes sense. Skills and technologies. It probably... This probably makes sense because there's probably like a decent me amount of mention of these in the job descriptions. Experience with cloud services. Of course, cloud is ubiquitous these days. Um, I feel like it, it's familiar with cyber. It could have definitely like put better stuff in here, to be honest. Um, okay, so my, for my critique, um, I would definitely like create. I always talk about portfolio, but it's really important. So I, I would create like some portfolio maybe in GitHub or something, and I would put the link up here as well. Um, I wouldn't necessarily get like a bachelor's in computer science to work in IT. It is good to have a degree or at least work toward one, especially in like those economic downturn. And you want to, you know, according to the employability framework, you want to be the best version of yourself that you can be. And if you want to, uh, you know, look good to a large range of employers, having a degree is like part of those. So it, it's good if you can get one. Obviously, you don't need it to work in entry level IT. I would recommend like it recommend like a degree in IT instead of computer science um, certifications. So this looks pretty good. Projects looks pretty good, but for each of these, um, I would definitely have like a repository in GitHub that kind of shows off the project. So for example, where you can, you know, an employer can go to your portfolio and they can click it and then they can kind of look and read about like what your project was. For example, it's good to have links here so they can just see them straight away right like a full url right because people don't want to click like you know suspicious links it experience um i think this is good um this is definitely good and it would be good to have some kind of reference to what you're talking about here so they can actually see some like tangible evidence of your claims and skills and technologies this this is pretty good too i believe um i i would probably like obviously for individual jobs you want to kind of um, change this section for each application you do based on the keywords that are in the job description, you know, just be as ethical as you want to be. So, I mean, this is probably fair enough for what I asked it to do. Cause I asked it to match on like a hundred different jobs. Right. So this is pr pretty good, but normally you want to like, uh, this is kind of like your keyword matching section that you, that you can use to like adjust, you know, to match for specific jobs, if that makes sense. So here's a cleaned up version of the chat GPT resume here. Uh, again, I'll put a link for this in the description, but I just want to kind of look through um, the actual job description here based on the stuff that chat GPT recommended and just see if it like actually matches up. Um, take note that I changed this to information technology because before it was computer science, but you know, it's not necessary for IT, but I just want to search in this job description thing to see like, you know, why it would say that and there, there's like a lot of computer science matches there's like 18 matches out of uh 100 jobs so i assume you know that it it's asking for like computer science or related or related degree yeah so two-year degree with a concentration in computer science or related discipline so that's probably why it's recommending computer science so let's see how many times like A plus was referenced inside of here. There's eight out of 100, which is uh, it's a decent amount. Security plus three times kind of surprising. I would have expected more. ITIL eight times. That's pretty good. It's recommending active directory projects. 11. 
And by the way, in my in the IT course, we go over Active Directory um, a pretty decent amount. Like we set up a whole Active Directory Active Directory domain from scratch and create users with PowerShell. Um, it's it's pretty interesting. It should give you a good uh, intuition on of how Active Directory works or why it's useful. Cloud for beginners. It's recommending to create a cloud project. So probably the word cloud is going to show up in here a decent amount. Um, AWS eleven times. Cloud 18 times, Azure five times. Um, IT content creator, comprehensive guide on VPNs. So I can expect VPN will be in here nine times. Very accurate enough. Created a hosted webinar on the use of ticketing systems. Um, I don't know. Oh, wow. Ticket. Ticketing. Ooh. Ticketing appears 17 times. Um, we also set up a ticketing system in the IT course as well. Um, cause it's like everywhere, everywhere uses it. Right. So I wanted to include it in the course. So we, it's OS ticket that we set up, um, as well as a VPN, um, experience with cloud services, AWS, strong understanding. Yeah, this, this makes sense. And all this stuff appears in here quite a bit. Um, I would encourage you to kind of look through here and look at the different job titles and then what they get paid. It's just kind of interesting to get an intuition for those kind of things. I hope that was interesting. I'll make all these like resumes and everything available in the description. And don't forget to check out the free practice exam questions and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.